You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to a fun, fantastic, and friendly episode of Ask Drone You. Yes. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob. And this is episode number 809. Thank you guys for hanging with us. We really do appreciate it. Hopefully we'll bring some value to your lives, to your drone lives in these next few episodes. Yeah, definitely. Starting right now. And if you are thinking about starting a drone business because you like to fly, do you know the best time to start? Right now! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, just making sure you're paying attention. Cool. All right, well, today's episode is brought to you by our friends at coloradodronechargers.com. If you need a way to charge all your batteries at one time, want to make sure that is clear at one time. Four batteries, one time. Not like one battery and then another one and then another one. I mean, all at once. Saves you a lot of time, by the way. ColoradoDroneChargers.com. Check them out. Hey, guys. How's it going? Uh, This is Eric out of Central Florida. Question for you on episode 0782. You mentioned briefly that the uh, the mapping accuracy on a Phantom 3 Pro was not as accurate as the Phantom 4 Pro, and I'm wondering if you could elaborate on that. I didn't catch why exactly. I didn't know if it was a sensor difference or or what. Yeah, that'd be much appreciated. Again, thanks again for what you're doing, uh, and have a good one. I love that. Short and sweet. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate the question. We definitely do. If you have a question, go to AskDroneU.com, upload your question. We're definitely wanting some new ones. It's probably going to be about two or three weeks before we answer them, as I am currently away on vacation. Uh, uh, more specifically, honeymoon. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Um, <laughs> well, <okay. laughs> Trying to get away and, and enjoy the, the slower times of life. So please get those questions in. We would love them. Um, I think this is a good question for a lot of people who are new to drones. They, they see drones at Best Buy. They get really excited by them. They uh, walk by their local park and just happen to meet two guys flying drones in the morning that happen <laughs> to own a drone school. That was this Weird. morning. <laughs> anyway... Um, and they're wondering, you know, I would love to be able to use a drone for work, right? And I would love to be able to augment what I'm doing. Can I just go get go get a Phantom? I hear it all the time, right? Let's just go get go get a Phantom. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, I got Catch a Phantom, all. and I got a Phantom for like seven ninety nine. And you're like holding your head, and you're like, oh no, what'd you get? You did not get the right Phantom. I should have specified Phantom Four Pro. Yeah. You know, oh, I got a Phantom Three. Can I do what I want? I need to do with Phantom Three. And you're like, well. <sighs> Not really. You can't. There's a couple reasons why. I mean, can you practice mapping with a Phantom 3, Phantom 3 Pro? Sure. Can you get, like, accurate maps with them? Probably not. Two reasons. Reason number one, camera sensor, right? We're we're talking about photogrammetry. That's when we take a lot of pictures together and utilize the data from the pictures to, to draw measurements and lines and key points and then tie points. And then we get those key points and those tie points and we stitch or we render pictures together to create objects. It's really cool. It is cool. In order to do that, we need a very good camera sensor, a big, large camera sensor that can take in lots and lots of little tiny pixels. Those tiny pixels become key points that later become tie points that later become a point in which the entire map can be stitched together. Millions of them. Millions of points. Millions. Well, when we have a 20 megapixel image, we have a lot more potential dots than a 12 megapixel image. 12 megapixel image is what you would find on a Phantom 3, Phantom 3 Pro. Pro. It is not that big of a sensor. Thus, you are not going to have as many dots. Thus, you are not going to have as much quote-unquote accuracy. Nor is it even going to look probably as good, right? It's as sharp in the colors, et cetera, et cetera. Correct. 100% agreed. On top of that, the GPS unit is a little bit different from the Phantom 4 Pro unit. You've got not only a different kind of GPS, but you're also acquiring more satellites with the Phantom 4 Pro. So... I would say the GPS on a Phantom 4 Pro, as far as horizontal position, is actually very good. When it comes to vertical position, it's very bad. Mm. Like, really, really bad. Hmm. So, um, on a Phantom 3, it's even worse. So, uh, in order to get any kind of accurate maps anyway, you have to use some sort of RTK or PPK GPS unit. Um, that's typically aside from your phantom, but you've got to have a decent GPS signal to even match your phantom data with your GPS data. On top of that, you need the bigger sensor. It's just not worth your time. It's, you're going to waste a lot of time trying to make something 
it's like trying to put a square peg in a round hole. It's like with joining... enough with enough shaving of the wood, it's possible. Mm. But that's a fool's errand. Or even like running a NASCAR race, and you're in a Corvette. It's a really great car, <laughs> but you're still going to get your butt kicked, <laughs> right? The competition is just yeah. going to be that much better. Yeah, it's like when you buy you know a car that looks like a BMW, you think it's going to drive like a BMW. Like, nope, it's still a Kia. <laughs> <laughs> or even a Volkswagen. That's that was actually what I said in my unique review <laughs> that we shot last it's week. Still, I was like, eh, it's still a Kia. Yeah, that's right. So anyway, um, I think that's gonna do it for our show today. Again, thank you guys for the reviews. We're up over two hundred on iTunes. Keep them coming in. I will read the funny ones on the show, I promise. So keep them coming in. If you have a question, go to askadronu.com. But I think that's gonna do it for our short episode today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask. Drone you.